When we were we were young, this was uh, we were poor, didn't know it, but everybody in this small community was. Uh, Dad trotline fished in the Wabash, and we used muscle, the meat out of the muscle for uh, for bait. Uh, usually gave the shells away and left them lay on the bank and and one of the local musters would get them uh, just kind of a we done what we called towing for them if the water wasn't too deep we'd wade around in it in the mud feel one with our feet go underwater bring him out throw him in a bucket or up on the bank if it was too deep we held on to the side of the boat and and if we felt one, then we'd duck down and get it. If we didn't feel any, we'd just keep going till we did. And back then, it didn't, it had, when those kids were still in school or you little, it didn't take very long to fill a five-gallon bucket, probably 15 minutes. They had several different, different varieties. I can't remember all of them. Some of the common ones, they had pistol grips, uh, the banana, maple leaf, dinner plate the dinner plates were amazing they were were like 10 12 inches across they were enormous muscles super thick and and uh, the, a lot of the kids used those to uh, in their playhouse sis did she had uh, muscle shells for doll dishes and stuff uh, they were all over every place uh, everybody had some muscle shells laying around someplace for whatever reason. I'm 78 years old and I've been on, I was on that river probably from around the first grade I can remember going down there with dad in a rowboat. Back then those, the way everybody had wooden boats, they made their own boat and in their garage or out in the yard on some saw horses. Uh, there was no money for for store-bought boats. There was very few store-bought boats, even in this area. We're probably, a, oh, roughly three quarters of a mile in a straight line to the river, probably a mile, mile and a quarter by the farm road down there. Uh, these sandbars and things, some of them were really abundant in mussels. Some of them very seldom had any. Uh, another thing I, I remember as a kid, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> his muscle shells, the particular brand of muscle seemed to frequent one area. They, they were kind of like they knew what they were doing. The, the maple leaf was on this sandbar. If you go down to the next sandbar, they might have been uh, bananas or pistol grips. It, it was really weird. Uh, they used to cook these in in big pots, 55 gallon barrels had been cut down and stuff. Uh, up on the river bank they'd boil them and that would get all the muscle meat out of the inside, leave a clean shell, then they'd take the clean shell in and sell them. I think brother said that the last ones he got he sold in Terre Haute to Germans down there by the overpass. Uh, back then there was no overpass. They were on First Street. And I think he said he got a thousand dollars for a little over a thousand dollars for a ton of them.